for today's video. We're back at the uh, construction site for the Surfside Pier. Uh, it's probably been a month and a half or so since I've been here. You can already tell from the road that there's uh, definitely more concrete pylons that have went up. And right now they're unloading, uh, looks like pieces of steel. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. But they're unloading that in the parking lot now. And uh, so we're gonna head on down past the uh, motel here, or hotel, sorry. And then we're gonna head on the beach and uh, get a closer look. So this video is being recorded on June 26th, 2021. Probably about 82 degrees. Skies with uh, overcast. And a light breeze. Overall, very nice day. We're going to keep this simple. And the same as my previous videos where we just kind of cut through the parking garage here. This is the Surfside Beach Hotel. Borrow the ramp here to walk out on the beach. The tide is low enough we can hopefully walk around the retaining wall that they've got here and get a shot from the other side too. If you compare this video to my last one you can definitely tell there's more more pylons that have been set. And they're also starting to backfill the, the temporary ramp, which we'll get a little closer to. So as always, as a reminder, there is a uh, webcam on the corner of the building right here. You can go on their website and click on uh, surf cam, and it will give you a really good shot of what's going on here. It's live. Uh, I've been kind of checking it ever so often since uh, this is really since they demolished the other pier and it's, it stays up all the time. It's never, it's never down that I've seen. And I'll put a link in the description for that. I've mentioned that in every video, but just in case someone hasn't seen the other videos, uh, I always just mention that. Another thing I'll add, I did notice when looking on the uh, camera, but on top of each pylon, you can't see it from this angle, from the camera you can. They have uh, made an indention or, or you know, a hole for some type of fastener in the top of each of these pylons. And I'm pretty sure that they were not pre-made with those. I may be wrong about that, but I don't, I don't remember seeing those before on the camera. So it looks like the crane is going up to where they're working on backfilling the ramp. And eventually what will happen is where these pylons are here in, they'll continue to the actual pier itself. I think the like the tackle and gift shop and the uh, if there's gonna be another restaurant I'm assuming there will be will all exist on top of these pylons. And where it ends right here is where the actual pier will start and go out into the ocean. They'll use that as a ramp to get uh, to mobilize the cranes and all the equipment over the water, and they'll continue to build a temporary pier on the other side of that wall. So we're going to get this a little bit closer. The equipment's starting to move up there, so we won't get too close, but we'll get a little closer. Also, want to mention I think they've added more signage. Telling you to keep out of there. Then we'll see the last visit. Just for extra safety.
they still got these concrete, uh, long concrete planks here. Still not exactly sure what those are for, but they were here last month when I come around uh, Mother's Day weekend. I think they have maybe a half a dozen people working. There's some that are back there towards the parking lot, and then there's one driving the skid loader. There's three guys there, and I think there's another guy inside the ramp. They've also added some brackets here. Those were not here before either, last month. on and see if we can get around the back side of it and see the other side. Just to give you some perspective, the uh, old pile in here and then the old one right there will be the width between the pilings uh, as they previously were. I'm not sure if the width is going to change with the new one, but of course the uh, the deck boards probably overlap. They would overlap and be the, the base of the pier that you actually walk on would be wider than that. The distance between the pilings is right there. Like we'll have no problem making it around here. As long as we don't stay too long. Gotta make sure we can get back. I see they have the same brackets on this side too. I'm not sure if that's just to make it extra make the walls extra secure maybe. Or maybe there's some intentions of actually mounting something to that. Plenty of people on the beach. After walking on this side, I also notice that they've added some uh, what appears to be some long wooden planks. I'm going to guess that those are probably going to be what will go beyond the ramp. Those will line up with the equipment and be able to drive across those. Maybe those are just the start of those. I could be wrong about that. If I'm wrong, if you know, leave a comment below clarify that for me. Alright, so that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Just kind of a quick update. Uh, there has definitely been progress since the last time. There's a good chance that it may not be here again until mid-August. Possibly sometime in July, we'll, we'll have to see. But as far as what's planned, I will not be here again until mid-August. So hopefully by then, maybe we'll have more pilings actually going towards the direction of the water. Maybe we can 
start to see what uh, resembles of the, or what will appear to be, uh, how the pier is going to look. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell. And that'll give you a notification uh, on the next upload as soon as video is published. Again, thanks for watching.